Hi everyone, it is Gabe and yes, I'm wearing the same shirt from the last video because it is so cute and comfy and very fitting for today's theme. And also I have my little burger pin so it is not the exact same outfit, so. Anyways, today's video I am very, very excited about. I ordered a mystery box from Floral Haze Vintage on Depop. I love everything they do. Like they have such a beautiful, colorful feed and I, they actually messaged me interested in swapping for a shirt I had. And I said yes, of course, because they have so much amazing stuff in their shop. I found a Japanese cupie that I did not have. And I said I would swap the shirt for that. And they said yes. And then they also said they would be super interested in doing a mystery box for me. Because they said they had some stuff I might like. So I said yes. So I paid $30 for the mystery box. And I am very, very excited. It's their larger box. And it has smiley faces and stuff all over it and i think their smaller box was 15 dollars their uh style is very like 60s and 70s like psychedelic and like very bright colors and rainbows and stuff and i have totally been getting into more 70s stuff recently if you can't tell but they said they would also have a mix of 90s stuff and stuff they think i might like so let's see i'm excited okay I'm nervous. Let's see. Oh, first thing we got is a letter. Oh my gosh, everything is so, look at that. Oh, everything looks so cute, so ready. Okay, and then we have a thank you note. Oh my gosh, and the stationery is so cute. It's pizza with a little rainbow star, and I'm gonna open it first. Oh my gosh. Hopefully there won't be any spoilers. Oh, look at this card. It's got sushi and pizza and just tons and tons of cute stuff. Um, hey, I hope you love the QB and your 1960s to 90s mystery box. I hope you love everything. Have an amazing day, Megan. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh my gosh. This is what I can see so far. I'm trying to spill everything. Oh my gosh, and right away, this is so, so cute, and it, like, perfectly matches my top. It's, like, a 70s style type, 70s style type bag. Oh, it's a little notepad. Oh, no, it's a picture frame, and it's the perfect size to put my Polaroids in. That is so awesome. I actually don't have a place to put any of my Instax stuff in and this I can just attach to one of my purses and be able to show people pictures of my pets and stuff that is amazing just so perfect what do we have here oh my gosh it's a little oh my gosh what are these called it's a toy from the 70s they're little dolls and I guess they come in these cute little baby bottles that is adorable oh my gosh this is just perfect so cute this is definitely gonna be sitting like on a shelf somewhere and i guess oh my gosh <laughs> she still squeaks oh that is insane so i guess i should show the QP, and this is not a part of the mystery box this is something that i per that i had in a swap and oh my god, she's so beautiful and in like perfect, perfect condition. Listen to that beautiful squeak. <laughs> Squeaks like it's, it's almost brand new. Like, oh, this is so awesome. Yeah, and it says made in Japan. So such a cute baby, oh my god. <laughs> Love this cute view going right on my cutie shelf. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cute. This is so early 2000s. It's like 90s, early 2000s. It's a princess little like bag that is so cute and it's furry. Wow. And then everything else. Oh, wait. Let's see. We have, oh my gosh. I've never seen a rubber ducky that is, isn't, it's not rubber. It's like, it's kind of like the ones when you have to like knock them over in a carnival and, and like you get to see what's underneath them. That is so cool. I've never seen one like outside of a fair. It's really cool. I really like it and I especially like that it's pink. Okay, let's see what's in this bag. Oh my gosh, it's got a holographic rainbow sticker. I might honestly save these stickers. Like I'll figure out a way how. Let's see what, it, oh, 
it's a, it's a cute little gnome oh my gosh and you it's like you can like stick stuff in his hands oh my gosh this is just like miscellaneous toys i think oh my god does this work <laughs> maybe i shouldn't be putting my mouth on it right away but oh my god it's just a little like trumpet thing really cute it's celluloid and then we have oh it's a pin this wooden vintage bear pin that would look really cute on this actually oh my gosh i might do that i put it on like wow my shirt was on and i felt myself getting like cross-eyed <laughs> because of how hard i had to look at it but yeah <laughs> it's on and then let's see what else we got in the bag i'm trying not to like look <gasps> what is this oh my gosh Okay, first off, we have this little girl in her high chair. This is so either 60s or 70s. Oh, 1998 Mattel. Oh, wow, I wasn't expecting that. But it's Kelly. That is so, so cute. And it does have, it does have like that vintage color scheme. Yeah, it says Kelly on the side and it's just a cute little dolly. I really like that, that's so cute. Oh my God, I swear, I used to have these when I was a kid. They're like little, I don't know what they're made out of, like pipe cleaner chickens. And this one is pink. I just, I think these are so cool and I completely forgot they existed. It's like a nostalgia trip for me. Like this is so cute. It's just cute little vintage stuff. I love stuff like this. And that's all for that bag. And then there's, I think one, two, three more bags for me to look through. Yay. It's got another beautiful rainbow. I love that they're all like different prints and stuff. That's so cool. Ugh. Oh my god, G3 My Little Pony temporary tattoos. Oh my god, I'm so gonna be using these. Maybe in like a makeup look or something. I usually don't wear makeup, and when I do, it's, you know, <laughs> shit like My Little Pony stickers. So yeah, this is my makeup. Check out my new Sephora palette. And then I think we have a pin. <gasps> It says it's time to swim. And I love vintage pins like these. And like the rustier the back, honestly, the better. And this is so, so cool. I love the color block. It just needs some red and it'll be primary colors. Maybe I'll add it to a red outfit. Let's see what else we got. Oh my God, this is so cute. It's a little like cake topper. It's a little Cupid and I am, you know, I love Cupies and I'm very obsessed with Cupid and devil motifs. And oh my God, this is just so beautiful. I love the pink and red. That's my favorite color combo. And then one more thing. Oh, it's, it's a little vintage apple patch. Oh my gosh. I think it's the sticky kind too. Oh, that is so cool. I want to put this on like a shirt or like a jacket or something. It's just really cool. We got two more to go. The little star one and the little also star one is like weird yellow wallpaper type pattern. Okay, it's got, of course, got the rainbow. I need to save all these rainbow stickers. I'm sorry, I'm that bitch. Okay, looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? This is like a rainbow. I love it. I love like monochromatic rainbow. It's a rainbow hair clip. Hopefully there'll be some other one, a matching one in here. Oh, I think this might all be hair clips. I'm just gonna take them out. Ooh, we got, oh my God. We have the coolest hair clips ever. This is unicorns just hanging out, being pals together clips. I am obsessed. Oh my God. I've never seen ones like these these before they're just so like unique and this one is the cow jumping over the moon so cool um and then the rest aren't clips they're like uh hair ties which i love this one is i believe a little watermelon and then this one is a pink banana i love how none of these are the colors they're supposed to be that's like adorable and then this one is a little blue pineapple Oh my gosh, there's only one bag left. I'm so sad. Everything has just been so cool so far. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I, bro I broke the rainbow. Oops. Okay, let's see what we have. Ooh, I'm feeling some stuff in here, man. Ooh, we got this butterfly clip. It's the kind that are like actual butterflies and the wings move. Those are a classic. And then we got more of them. Just different colors really really cute i could do like a rainbow 
butterfly princess look with these. And is that it? Okay. I think that's it. And I really loved it. It was a beautiful trip to the past. And I just love all of the like random little knickknacks and stuff. It's just so cool. And it's a little out of my comfort zone to do things like past the 80s. And I think I'm getting past that. And I'm living my 60s and 70s life. Who knows? Maybe I'll start doing my own 60s and 70s mystery boxes because I... You guys know I do the themed mystery boxes. I have an 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. So maybe if I collect enough stuff, I'll start doing ones of my own. But this is just a perfect example of what to strive to. This is just beautiful. Love it. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. And make sure to check out Floral Haze Vintage. I will put the link in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.